A civil society legislative advocacy center has called for a legal framework to protect whistleblowers. The center, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja, says the total disregard of the nation's public procurement law, coupled with a poor policy on whistleblowing, is affecting the war against graft. The executive director of the center, Awal Araf Sanjani, says there is a need for adequate legislation to encourage whistleblowing and promote public buying in to the war against corruption. You cannot have a law and then you still continue to disregard this law. Public procurement, or, uh, procurement in Nigeria constitutes almost 70% of the corruption in Nigeria. Every week, every time we see public federal uh, executive council sitting down to award contract in disregard, in total disregard of the public procurement law, we cannot say that we are fighting corruption and you are undermining a law that says that this is how you can go about doing procurement in the country. The policy of the federal government that you know uh, we have in place is not sustainable and it doesn't have protection for the whistleblower. So that is why we are advocating for a legal framework through the act of the National Assembly, because if you observe now, even the policy itself is virtually dying now. It was uh, more of like um, uh, an incentive, you know, for the, that government was throwing out for people to um, expose, you know, corruption was built to, you know, take back some, you know, asset. But you cannot, you know, continue to be doing things off, you know, um, halfway. We need to have a policy, I mean, a, we need to have a legislation that will protect and promote people to even come out because we have seen a lot of people who have been victimized as a result of, you know, exposing corruption. Nigeria's real gross domestic product has steadily increased from 1.89% in the first quarter of 2018 to about 2.0% in the first quarter of 2019. The Minister of Budget, Udo Doma, while giving an appraisal of the 2019 budget in Abuja, says the budget was designed to support growth being experienced, repositioning of the nation's economy, and lifting Nigerians out of poverty. Udoma says the nation's economy has consistently experienced growth in the last two years, notably about 1.11 percent between 2017 and 2018. The 2019 budget is designed to further reposition the economy on the path of higher, inclusive, diversified, and sustainable growth, and to continue to lift significant numbers of our citizens out of poverty. The macroeconomy has been largely stable. Growth has increased from 0.82% in 2017 to 1.93% 1 in 2018. Our projection for this year, and we're working hard to achieve it with the continuing implementation of the ERGP is 3.01%. As you know, the NBS just released the first quarter numbers and real GDP increased from 1.89% in the first quarter of 2018 to 2.01% in the first quarter of 2019. This has been the strongest first quarter growth since 2015. And you know the first quarter is always the weakest. So we believe that starting the year on 2.01%, it looks good that we will be able to make the 3.01% target for this year. Unemployment and underemployment numbers remain high in Nigeria. However, the good news is that we can expect reduction in the rate of un unemployment as we continue to implement the policies and programs of the ERGP, particularly the fact that they are diversified. The diversification efforts will create jobs. And Mr. President has indicated that the focus of his next level, the focus of his second term, will be employment generation.